Embedding the web simply means bringing content from another website and displaying it in your Haiku class. Haiku offers an easy way to do that, and it's called Embed the Web. One example of Embed the Web that we can see on the 6th grade central page is this TeacherTube video that we have right here. If I click the play button, I can see that this video is a pretty humorous cartoon of one of the Animaniacs singing each of the capitals of the United States. And we won't watch all of that now, but I will show you how I added this video. Because embedded content is actually coming from the third-party site, the first thing we have to do is go out and find that third-party site. So to do that, I click the Add Content Block button. In this window that opens, I want to look for the Embed the Web option. And it's right here at the bottom of the list. So I'll go ahead and click the Embed the Web button. Haiku LMS offers a number of different types of content that you can display in your web page. And there's so many options, they've broken them down into categories that you can see here on the left. Since we're looking for the Animaniacs video, I know it's a video, and I click that option. That particular video I found on TeacherTube. So I flip through the different pages, and I find TeacherTube. What I'm seeing here is the title of the service and then a short description of what it offers. I can read the complete description by clicking the Read More button, which I just did. Ultimately, what we're going to need to do is take HTML code that the third-party service provides and paste it into our Haiku class. We don't have the code yet, though, so we're not ready to paste. Instead, we want it to guide us, so I'll go ahead and click the Guide Me button. Once I've clicked the Guide Me button, this page reloads and it splits into two separate panes. In the top, we can see that there are instructions from Haiku of how we can use TeacherTube to find the code and put it on our page. The first thing we need to do is browse to find our video. So we go down to this bottom panel and we see that this is the TeacherTube website. I happen to know that this video is one of the top rated, so I click the top rated videos. And here I can see the video that I want to embed. So I go ahead and click on that. I'll scroll down a little bit here so we can see the video. Oh, and we're not quite ready to watch it yet. The second step then, as Haiku's instructions tell me at the top of the page, is to find the embed code. And currently that's displaying on the right side of the video. So I put my cursor in here and I double click it. And I'm going to copy that. And for this I will just simply use the right click of the mouse and choose copy. When I come up back up to the Haiku instructions then I can see that um, we've already done step three which is to copy our code and since we have that copied and it's on our clipboard we're ready to go back to my Haiku class. So I'll click back to my Haiku class and now Haiku gives me the place where I need to actually paste that code. So I click in the box, I will right click and paste. And here's all the code that we've just copied. Now we're ready to move on, so we click the Next button. Just like with any other type of content block, we have the option of giving the block a title. For this, we will call it the 50 State Capitals Song. And we will skip the description for now. Um, you are able to add that, and it will display just above the video on the page if you'd like. Um, for the time being, we'll just leave that out. And we'll go ahead and hit Save so that we can see our work. We'll just scroll up a little bit here. And we can see here's the new video block that we've just added. This is our newly embedded content coming from TeacherTube. It happens to be the same content that I'd shown you earlier. This is just a second instance of it. There are a number of other types of services that you can use as well, so feel free to explore those.